Guess who moved all the way from Salt Lake City to Montreal and didn't bring a single pair of workout shorts? This did right here. So today we're gonna try to go to the mall and I had the idea, my buddy Ari has a really cool channel on YouTube and he did a video about seeing if he could skate from one place to another faster than Google Maps says you can drive. And I thought it was an awesome segment and I want to do something like it. Yeah, so the goal today is I'm gonna go to the mall and I'm gonna skate and I'm gonna film it and I'm gonna time it and I'm gonna see if without being too insane, if I can beat the time that Google Maps says it's supposed to take me in a vehicle. And this being Montreal, I have pretty high level of confidence that I'll be able to do it, even with shorts, t-shirt, carrying a backpack with some shoes and stuff in it. I can put my skates in that when I go in the mall. But that's the mission. We're gonna go buy some shorts and we're gonna skate there and see if I can do it faster than in the car. I have a general idea where the mall is. I've been there a couple times. So here we go, three, two, one, from the corner, and roll in. And I'm not gonna take this super crazy. I'm gonna skate it uh, fast in some spots, but I'm not gonna go blistering through traffic just for sake of time trialing this. Um, the goal is more to see if I can actually just go out for an enjoyable skate and beat the time. The traffic in Montreal with the lights is so ridiculous. Even if there's no traffic, just hitting lights here, it takes, so long to do anything because everything just turns red all the time so you don't have a lot of flow to the traffic gives you a bit of a an advantage on skates all right here we go got lucky there gonna cut through the park here and head out on rochelle and go all the way down there's probably a faster route in this but yeah don't really care just taking the way I know it's a nice day today not too hot everybody's out of town all the skaters have off this week so I'm heading to New York City myself tomorrow well Tuesday I don't know when I'll post this but heading there on Tuesday skate with Ari Bortz you guys probably know I'm a stuttering skater. And just gonna have fun, romping around the city, making cool content. Montreal is a notoriously windy city and it doesn't feel too bad today. Yeah, it seems like the trees are pretty calm, which is nice, so. Oh, they're moving a little bit, but it feels like it's got a tailwind right now. Hard to say exactly. Definitely not a headwind. At this rate, <laughs> by average 40, I'm gonna blister the time. So 30 kilometers an hour is a two minute kilometer. It's 8.7, so we'll round up to nine. With a 30 average, that would put us at 18 minutes, 10 minutes faster. And then Google Maps says you can drive there. I don't know if I can average 30. Would have to get really lucky with lights, but I will inevitably have to stop at some point. Super fun to skate here because people don't really pay attention. So it gives you something to do. Especially for stuff like this. If I was actually training, it would be a bit annoying. Definitely wouldn't skate in parks or any public places like this. But uh, yeah, just commuting, having an A to B, and trying to see if I can get there on time or faster. That's super fun. All right. So right now we're putting a lot, of, a lot of time in the bank. Cruising on this path, about to come up to a light that's almost always red every time I've been on this path. Pure coincidence, obviously, but we'll see, maybe we get lucky today. There's a lot of cross sections where I'll have to slow down. I can't just 
blindly cruise through. Gotta have a little, little plan on where to go. Oh, we might get luckier. We got a green. But there's an arrow. This could be dangerous. We're good, we got saved by the bikes. Cause there's bike traffic. Not supposed to be crossing, I don't think at that point, but they did. Cars had to stop, got lucky there. This is a little hairy here with the bike. Nobody coming around, so go around the outside. All right. Left turn, there's a bike coming, car across. Save there. Coming up on a red. These little cross sections here, it's always nice when there's bike traffic in the in the crosswalk. Kinda gives you the oh, okay to go ahead. Right now I got some cars, gotta go around. There we go. That's usually my go-to move, is just to whip around. Try to maintain some speed. Here we got cars coming. All right. I'm filming on my X3. I'm sad to say, because the Insta360 X4 is so much better. But I destroyed it, dropped it while I was skating. Not ideal and now it's completely ruined. I don't think there's any chance of fixing it. The, uh, the scratches on the wind. Oh yeah, bad dog. The scratches on the lens are pretty bad, they're pretty deep. I don't think it's something that could be buffed out, unfortunately. All right, we got an e-bike up here. Let's see if we can get a race going here. All right, we got a green on the street, but a red on the path. Oh, looks like we're stopping. I'm gonna bang it right here. Curb hop and keep going. Alright. I would not suggest doing this at home. <laughs> I need to start thinking about where the mall is and how I can get connected to those streets without spending too much time waiting. Figured I'd do that on the fly. Got 15 minutes or so to figure it out. Plus, if I skate really fast, hopefully this bus doesn't kill me. We're good. Nobody's turning. Gonna go through this one. All right. So coming up on a red, one of the bigger, one of the bigger intersections. Gonna check it out. Hopefully, I get a green here. Nope. Oh, perfect. Squeeze in here. All right. Lucky ducky. I moved my right frame because as I was skating a bit more. I realized I could feel flopping. And since putting the coin in my boot, I was able to learn that where I thought my wheels were was not exactly where they were underneath me. And so I moved into a point where I could feel the boot a bit better all the way around that spot. And it's made quite a bit of difference. Kind of a no-brainer though, I've just moved the heel in to reduce the flopping. All right, I'm gonna go through this one. So far, super lucky with lights. I'm basically downtown. 
I just gotta go that way <laughs> now to get to the mall. If I took a main road, I could probably do it in under 10 minutes from now, I guess. I don't know exactly how far I am. I've gone 5K, so I got 3K to go, roughly. Should probably start looking for a road that goes that direction. <clears throat> to the bike lane, that would've been a good one. All right, so I did not do a good job at all of planning during that last little bit of skating. Just been blabbing. Uh, let's try this, let's see what happens. Oh, this road looks rough. That might've been a bad call. <laughs> Stand by, oh, it's not as bad as I thought. Just not great. So now I'm in a headwind. I had a cross tail before, I think. I can feel the front nose of that. I don't think it'll affect me too much. Definitely gotta keep my eyes on the road so I don't do that. I got really lucky there, I didn't fall. That could have been real bad. <laughs> All right, so always scan the road. Normally I'm really good at doing that. Continually scanning to see what's coming. But that one got away from me, so that could have been real bad. Luckily it wasn't. A little bike lane, taxi lane here. Take advantage of that. Probably gonna pop on Google real quick. See where I'm at. Oh, we got cross traffic here. All right, we're good. going down but we'll give it a go I just want to keep moving the whole time it says I'm 3.2 K away oh I took the turn way too early that's not good all right here we go pop off here take Ontario down I think Ontario runs right by it or near it This is a little crazy here. We got a red that we're coming into that helps me a little bit. I'm gonna flip it right here on Rune. Try to take the bike paths over. All right, so that works. I'll pop over to Ontario, I believe. That's a stop sign, I'm good. Oh, it wants me to go back up. I was totally wrong on where that... Uh, I'm gonna go against what Matt's is saying and take Ontario. We'll see what happens. So, this might ruin <laughs> my chances to beat it, but I'm only a couple K away. Well, I was going the other way. Only a couple K away, so in theory, I can be there in less than 10 minutes. That still puts me five minutes ahead of what I would have done theoretically in a car. For sure, coming home from downtown, Five o'clock traffic, it is so much faster to be on skates. No doubt about it. All right. So, big intersection here. Gonna have to wait. I'm gonna check the maps while I'm here. I have no option anyways. All right, has me at 3K. Take a right on Barry and a left on Sherbrooke. Left on Union, all right. All right, so here we go. Piss off some cars behind us, but we're going into it right anyway, so they have nowhere to go. Uh, no cars coming. Squeeze through here. All right, so I don't have a good way to pass this car right now, but I could definitely go by him at 35. There we go. 
I lied. The right way to pass it. So I'm looking for Berry Street, Blueberry. Take it right there, left on Sherbrooke. Left on Union, I believe. What Google Maps said. Red light. Looks like a one way. Perfect. They did the right thing. They didn't wait for me. <laughs> it's always nicer when cars just follow the, the lights and don't react to you. I might pick up a hitchhiker here. Here's my right though, I think. There's a bike lane across the street, so I gotta go through and right. Yeah. All right, heading up. All right, up this hill. This one's a bitch. Is he following me? I don't think so. That guy asked if I was on YouTube and then he tried to turn around, but I don't know if he saw me turn here. Oh, I'm feeling it. 183 heart rate. To get up this hill, I'm trying to save time. Still well within. I'm at 8K, so going out of the way there definitely ruined me a little bit. I'm gonna go up to Sherbrooke and take a left. I can't really scoot through this light. There we go. Front of the line. Oh, big headwind now. <laughs> Body's tired. Going up that hill. I'm trying to settle into my skates and just make easy speed without pushing hard. Did I miss? I might have missed the turn. No, I'm good. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, I need a better, better plan before doing this. <laughs> Maybe the last one is Sherbrooke. Try it. Never try to startle people, but it happens. I know when people watch my videos, they think I'm, a I'm not trying to be, but I'm just trying to have a little fun here. I'll turn. Okay. He was nice. Let me squeeze in. I don't really know where I am. <laughs> Wrong turn again. All right. Well, I've gone the distance of the mall, the distance between my house and the mall. So if that counts. That's 19 and a half minutes. If I wouldn't have missed my turns. All right, let's take a peek here. I think it's up on my left. Uh, they wanted me to go left there, but I think I'm in a car. So I'm still looking for better biking roads slash skating roads than what it wants. I'll take this road. Oh, it's a show. Garbage truck. Take the <laughs> bike, bike traffic. We're gonna hop on the sidewalk. Try to skip past that. Oh, treacherous. All right, we're back to Sherbrooke in a sec. How did I miss that? I was too busy pumping watts. All right, so same thing is, oh, we're at a T, perfect. Don't stop. Next one should be Sherbrooke. 
I'm at 20 minutes. See how far away I am. 1.4K. Looks like I'm still gonna beat it, even though I went <laughs> severely out of the way. Oh man, what a loser. What a loser. All right, up on Sherbrooke, take a right. I'm gonna try to bail onto the sidewalk if I have to. Oh, I think we're good. Got a taxi lane here, parking lane. Looking for a union, I think, and then a left. All right, we're good on traffic behind. Road is not in great shape. Can't really cruise here too much. St. Urbain. Oh, was that the mall? That might have been it. I just gotta get down to it now. Let's see. No. Six more blocks and then left. Can I get a green? Can't get so lucky. This is a one way, two way. One way. All right. 22 minutes. I think the estimation was 28. Oh, all these rows, bad shape. I could probably take any of these lefts coming up and get there. But there's really steep roads up here, so I can't really cruise down too quick. Okay, I know where I am now. This road up here goes straight down to the left and to the mall. Let's take my time, because I'm gonna beat it, despite totally ruining that route. Pop through here. All right, so I like this road because it's nice and wide. I can do big weaves. It's a one way. Doesn't seem like there's much traffic. Doesn't seem like there's much traffic at the bottom either. That's nice. And always bail onto the sidewalk. It's two way. All right. I probably scared him. I <laughs> didn't mean to. I saw him. I don't know if he saw me to the last second, but uh, all right, we've arrived. Over here, Eton, up on the bike path. 23 minutes and 30 seconds. So I beat it by a couple minutes. I think if I knew the route a little better, I could have shaved four minutes off of that probably, three or four minutes off of that. But I went downhill, uphill, I didn't have to do any of that. There it is. Now we gotta find the entrance. I think Nike store is on the other side. Oh, we got the Cathlon. That's like the cheapest workout stuff you've ever seen in your life. It's like the Walmart of the workout world. Boom, there it is. I walk in the mall and every single store is closed. Every single one. There's people walking around in the mall. There's quite a few people in the mall, but none of the stores are open. So I get on my phone, I Google, why is every store at the Eton Mall in Montreal closed? And of course it tells me that it's Canada Day. And it was just like Quebec day two days ago. So Canada, why do you have so many days? Why do you need so many days? Needless to say, I came home with no shorts, but I did come home with an urban time trial victory. And that, that is more important. That is, that is worth much more than shorts. You can always buy more shorts. You can't buy more urban time trial victories. So if you'd like to see any more urban time trials, um, put some in the comments. I'm located right next to Mason Off Park the Olympic Park, basically. And from there, I'll go pretty much anywhere. I'd like to go towards downtown because it's more fun. Going away from downtown is pretty much a drag. There's not really much to see or skate around. But if you have any interesting stuff that you'd like me to urban time trial to and race against Google Maps, then put it in the comments. And I think the max distance I would probably do is 30K, maybe 40K. 
this one was a bit short just wanted to test it out and see how it goes but i would have a good time urban time trialing something up to 40 kilometers away and see if i can beat it on the car time the estimated car time on google